Hey guys, how we doing? Here we are at the Fresh Kitchen at Fresh by Brooks. Just check us out at freshthetable.com. What we're going to do today, or my goal today, is to get you a way of thinking that when chicken noodle soup time comes, is that you're sick. Get away from that. First thing we're going to do is I'm going to get my pot going. You've, caught, you've heard me say it before in previous um, shoots that I call it my mother pot. This is where we're going to start and we're going to finish. I'm going to come over here with a little bit of olive oil. You don't need to pull out the best olive oil from the cellar, but just a nice, good, simple, premium olive oil. Okay, in the back here, I have a little bit of water and wine, and I'm going to show you how to make a homemade little chicken stock while we're making this so you have even more flavors. So, this pan's nice and hot. I got some fresh celery. Fresh chopped carrots. We're going to let this cook for a minute. While that cooks, I got this liquid coming up. I brought home the boys a roasted chicken from the store last night because the roasted chicken at Fresh I love and it's a very simple meal. But we don't always eat the whole thing so whatever we don't eat I put it in the refrigerator. So what I have is I have some leftovers, some, some quarters and some meat and all that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the meat, shred it a little bit but keep it in good chunks. Here's a good leg, there's the thigh, good dark meat. Look how easy this is. We're making homemade chicken stock that's going to go in our soup. What's that mean? Flavor and good stuff. We got a breast left over. Pull that breast off. And I'm making sure that I'm putting all my pulled meat to the front of my pan and so I don't mix any bones. Here we got the breast cavity. What are we doing? We're getting all the flavor out of that to make better flavored soup. I got me a wing here. That's going to go in there. I got me a leg. Don't throw the bone away. Make a stock. We're just going to let that boil. I'm not worried about it being foggy or making the perfect French consomme. I just want flavor. That's all that matters. I got a fennel bulb. I cut the heart out. Cut it in half. That goes in there. Now this sounds funny, but I actually put an apple in my chicken noodle soup. And once you make it and taste it, I think you'll get it. Just adds a nice little sweetness, but it doesn't seem like I added sugar to it. So we're going to peel our apple. I got two bay leaves. We're going to add that to it. Now, I got my apple. Just cut around the core. Just throw our apples in there. I'm serious, when you're watching this, don't, th don't turn me off and think that I'm crazy or I'm some guy that's gone mad and lost my mind adding apples to soup. Most people throw that away, right? No, that's broccoli, it's still good. Cut the outside off. Cut it in half, cut it in half again, dice it up, and you didn't waste. So what did we do there? We saved a little room from the landfill. Now we got our florets. Just break them down. We're going to push that to the side because we're not going to add that until we add the liquid. I don't want to break those up. I got a turnip. Cut the top and the bottom off. If you normally don't like turnips, that's fine. Don't normally like turnips. But you're not just eating turnip here. What this does to a soup is it gives it a really good earthy flavor. But at the end of the day, if you can't get over the fact that there's a turnip in there, don't put a turnip in there. It's your soup. Okay, we're waiting for this to brown a little bit. Now what I'm going to do, since I'm pretty close to adding my liquid and my chicken stock, has been, or we're making our own chicken stock, I'm going to come to the butter and I'm going to do what the 
French do, and I'm gonna grab that fond down at the bottom. That's all that flavor that I've developed. We got our bay leaf in there, that's one of our aromatics, and then we're also gonna do oregano. This is one of those things that I'm gonna add my herb at the beginning and let it simmer. A lot of times you see me add herb right at the end because I want that nice bright feel. I usually do the nice bright feel for summer things because it's nice, bright, and light. Well, here I'm trying to get some depths into it. I'm trying to give you history of this soup. So when you taste it, you keep tasting it. You can see how we've gotten some good color there. And I wish technology was there to where the camera could actually send smells through to you, but I don't think we're there yet. We're gonna come back. And we're gonna add our stock. And then we're gonna do the beautiful thing. We're gonna set it and forget it. We're gonna go to the cellar, we're gonna add a, grab a bottle of wine. We're gonna go play in the garden, we're gonna go play with the kids. We're gonna chop this up very roughly, because what are we doing? We're doing rustic. Add that to it. We're gonna go ahead and add our broccoli. Another pinch of salt, pinch of pepper. We're gonna go ahead and add our chicken. That didn't sit in the fridge for four days and we didn't do anything with it and then got thrown away. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this come up to a boil. Once it comes up to a boil, we're going to make a decision. The big decision that we're going to make is, are we going to make this whole batch one big batch of chicken noodle soup? Or are we going to take what we want to make chicken noodle soup out of today, before we add the noodles, put that in a container and freeze it? And what is that? That's a batch of chicken noodle soup. On a, on a day that you had late soccer practice or late football practice, you pull it out, put it on the stove, bring it to a boil, add your pasta to it, and you're ready to go with a homemade chicken noodle soup that night. Two meals in one. But what we're going to do today, because I got an army to feel, or I got an army to feed, we're going to let this come up to a boil. And I guess I'm not that conventional of a guy, but I'm going to use a different type of noodle. I love this line of noodles, or this brand. They make all kinds of types of cuts of noodles, but I love this one. This one's fun. And that's what I, it is, it's fun. That's why I like it, because it's fun. We're gonna add that to it. I'm not worried about blanching it first and doing all that stuff that takes up so much time. We're gonna add a little more liquid. And you gotta let it simmer for 15 minutes and you got a meal on the table. So we're ready to roll. What I would do is I'd keep this on the stove and have a nice loaf of crunchy bread chopped up or if you like cornbread or hot water cornbread, have that next to it. But we'll come over here and plate it up so once on the plate you can see all the goodies. So we're gonna come over here. If you can see, man, look how good that looks. You taste it. Touch of pepper touch of salt, mix that up, bring our bowl over here, I don't know about you but if you're a soup lover, I'm pretty sure that that might be right up your alley, it's hot. All you need now is a good bottle of red wine, your pajama pants, and a warm fire and maybe some snow outside. Have a good day. We'll see you next time at freshthetable.com.